What did you do for a living before Bravo came along? Roy, uh, I was a mailman. I delivered mail for 20 years uh, here in Edinburgh, Texas. And um, yeah, that's what I did. And I wasn't too crazy about it. You know, it just it just wasn't me. And so I was always itching to do something different, itching to do something um, just better for me. It's a great job. I'm not knocking it. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've got friends there that, that, that I miss, man. I, I left about seven years ago. Uh, but, um, yeah, it was just, it just wasn't for me. And I, and, and I just took the chance and, and, and here we are, you know, um, sometimes, sometimes you have to commit and just dive in so that you can truly just take it to the next level. Uh, sometimes, you don't take it to that next level because you've got nothing to lose. But when you've got everything to lose, it's sink or swim, man. And um, I think uh, I think everybody can swim uh, if they know that sinking is not an option. It's an option when you still have your job and all that. But one of the hardest things I had to do was uh, quit my job at the post office. Great benefits, great pay, obviously a future. I could have been there till I retired. Um, but, uh, I had to give it up. And, and when you do that and, uh, you know, you're, uh, basically live without a net, uh, you got to stay on that. You, you, you got to stay on that high wire, man. And you're going to do everything you can in your power to stay on it because you can't fall. And so that's what I use to drive Bravo to where it's at right now. And I still do it because it can be here today and gone tomorrow. Post office will, will always be there. <laughs> it's always going to be there. It's a government entity. It's always going to be there. But, uh, you know, Bravo can be here today and gone tomorrow. So every day I wake up, I wake up with that hunger and I wake up with that uh, drive and that commitment to take Bravo, to continue to take Bravo to the next level. And that's what I do. And uh, <clears throat> it's it's uh, it's something that I'm proud of and it's something that I love to do. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I wouldn't trade it for anything else, man. Yeah, it comes with its headaches and it comes with uh, sometimes it's nerve wracking and sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do. Um, but and, and I don't mean that you don't want to do like uh, I'm not talking I'm not talking like immoral or anything like that. But sometimes you have to make decisions and uh, um, there and you have to make uh, executive decisions that that, you know, uh, are, are difficult sometimes. But, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world because that's. Um, that is what um that's what drives me man it's just it's just it's crazy it's it's uh it's 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 what drives me the you know the the fact that that uh that it's sink or swim it just drives me it keeps me alive in, in essence when i'm talking about work i'm comparing jobs here i'm not obviously my family you know my faith that's what truly keeps me alive but when i leave the house and i punch in to a job the fact that it, it's here one day and it can be gone the next day it, it just keeps me motivated and it keeps me going and 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 i just live for that stuff i really do uh doesn't mean that you know i wanna i you know i uh i want every day to be a do or die no sometimes it you coast and it's great and and it's awesome but then sometimes the rubber you know i mean just you know it, it, you know it, it, it gets crazy and um sometimes it gets crazy and and uh you know it's it's uh, it's difficult sometimes but um we always seem to get through it and we always continue to move forward and so um yeah it's it's just a, a great thing that's why i sit there if you guys if you guys watch me i talk about you know going out there and taking it to the next level you guys can do it you guys can do it a lot of people feel that they can't for whatever reason maybe they grew up listening to the wrong people or they they hung around with the wrong crowd uh, there was no motivation there was no guidance there was no direction um but guys you're more capable than you're than you realize guys i'm telling you you guys out there most of you guys out there are more capable than you really i think all of you guys out there if you guys if you guys follow me and you follow bravo i think you guys are pretty smart so um uh and because of that i think all you guys out there can do greater things than what you realize uh you know uh, steve Jobs said this once and it's never um i i think uh it's it's always gonna stick with me because it's so true he said um you know when you grow up you're gonna realize that the world isn't run by people when you grow up, you're going to realize that the world is run by people no more smarter than you. And it's so true. 
it is so true uh for you to think that you're inferior to other people and other people are superior then you've already lost man uh yeah there's people out there that are superior but you won't know until you try you won't know until you go out there and uh you know you jump in you know you scratching the surface is nothing you're that's all you're doing you're just scratching the surface but you need to go in there and you need to start digging and find out if certain people that may be in your way are better than you or not and you're going to realize that you are good at things you are good at things uh that other people aren't good at doesn't mean that that you're a one-man gang and you can do everything no you need help but at the same time uh you can take it to the next level you don't know how you don't know how far you can go man until you try you know you don't know how high you can fly until you jump out of that nest and that's the hardest that's the hardest thing to do so um yeah, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of went off there, but um, you know, yeah, I used to deliver mail, and and now I'm doing Bravo, and you know, I love it. And I'm, it's 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 just it's a blessing, guys. Uh, how did your wife react to the news? You wanted to leave your job. She was for it, Juan. Uh, she wanted me to quit a long time ago. I was the one that was that was reluctant. Uh, my wife wanted me to quit. She was actually running Bravo while I was out there delivering mail. So. She had told me about six months, maybe even a year before that I needed to quit my job and I needed to, to run Bravo full time. And uh, it was me. I was the one that was reluctant. And so I prayed about it. I prayed about it. I prayed about it. I finally got my answer. And that was it, man. Uh, I um, I went up to my postmaster and I told him that I was leaving um, that Friday. I think it was on a Monday that I spoke to him and i think it was on a tuesday or wednesday that i spoke i mean i left in a couple of days that's it i just wanted to put that behind me and just really go full throttle with bravo not because uh i hated working there it just wasn't for me it wasn't for me i was a square peg in a round hole uh call it what you will it just wasn't for me man you know it when it's not for you you just know it and i knew it since day one but the reason i stayed there is because everybody was telling me no man that's a great job you need to keep it that's where i would want to be you're lucky you got a great job it's got good benefits and all that. and that's great and that's true uh but that just wasn't for me you know my parents buy a little go to college buy a little house uh get married and then buy a little plot of land and then when you ever need money, you can just sell that little plot of land. And that's fine. A lot of people do that. And that's good. I'm not, I think that's, I think that's sound advice to a certain extent. To me, that just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Like, why stop there? Why just one plot of land? Why can't you buy five? Well, because it's too expensive to buy five. Yeah, but that guy's buying five. And that guy bought five. That guy bought 10. So if he can buy 10, why can't I buy 10? I mean, you know, why stop at a plot of land? Why not just buy a, a family dollar that went out of business? Why not buy a building, a retail? That's what we did. But because that never worked for me. That never made sense for me. Again, guys, I'm not... Most of you guys out there do it. That's great. Do it, man. Do it. You're happy. At the end of the day, are you happy? I wasn't completely happy. I wasn't happy with that notion. Buy a little house and then buy a plot of land. Whenever you need money, just sell it. And then voila, you got money. Okay, what about going out there and disturbing the force and going out there and making something crazy and doing what you love, which is create work with your hands and, 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 and commit and just why not that? Well, because uh, you know, most people will fail at that. I'm willing to give it a shot. That's the only difference between me and somebody else that's not willing. It's just, I just, I was willing to give it a shot. Call me suicidal, call me whatever. I was just willing, man. And I had a wife that was backing me up. She was telling me, you got to quit your job. Yeah, I mean, Bravo needs you 100% every day. And I, I would, I would run my route. As fast as I could, and by three o'clock I was out, and I would go straight to Bravo. Sometimes even sooner. And so, I mean, I was out there delivering mail and pulling over and talking to clients, talking to customers. I mean, <clears throat> just crazy, crazy. But um, yeah, that's what it took, and that's that was just me. I just it it didn't feel right for me. 
uh, and I just had to do it. And so this whole thing where people are telling you what that's why when I hear people say that my son's going to be a doctor and he's like 10 years old and he doesn't even care because he doesn't even want to play with a stethoscope or whatever. I'm like, what do you mean he wants to be a doctor? He's 10 years old. Like, or my son wants to be this, or he's going to be a lawyer because his uncle's a lawyer. Yeah, but what does he want to be? That's what you want him to be. What does he want to be? Let him be what he wants to be. Support him in that. Whatever it is. I want to be a musician. I want to be... I want to be a gunsmith. I like working with guns. Oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, they don't make a lot of money. It's not about the money. It's about happiness. Are you happy? I know a lot of... I don't know a lot of doctors, but I know that there's a lot of doctors out there that aren't happy. I know... I know... I don't want to say because then he's going to know I'm talking. I know people that have good uh, just career professions that aren't happy, man, because that's what mom and dad told them to do. And guess what? Those kids end up resenting their parents, man. They do. Guys, I'm telling you. You know, your daughter wants to be an artist. She wants to be... Let her be an artist, man. School's always going to be there. What, what's this whole... Th well, you're 18, 19. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your life. No, you're not, man. 40 is a new 20. That's, that mentality is from the 60s and the 50s and the 40s when people are only living to, living to be 60. 60 was old age. You couldn't even walk anymore. People are living till they're not... Our president is 70 years old, man. And he's running for another term. And if he could, he'd probably run for another term after that. Well, no, because that goes against the Constitution. But you know what I mean? Guys, no, man. School's always going to be there, guys. Education's always going to be there. Education's not for everyone. Higher learning is not for everyone. It's not. And I just say it because I went through it. Everybody was telling me, no, don't quit your job. Dude, people were telling me, don't quit your job. There was guys at the post office, you know, that most businesses fell, in three, uh, fell within three uh, years. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And it's true. I guess they do. But, guys, don't try to live vicariously through your children. Don't. Stop it. Stop it, man. My son went to Baylor. Bumper stickers. Like, what? Because you forced them or because you wanted to? Most of the times because you forced them because you wanted that bumper sticker on your car. I'm not picking on Baylor. It could be UT. It could be Harvard. Whatever. I'm just, I'm here from the Valley and I see a bunch of those. That's why I say that. <laughs> Look, school's great. It's great. But it's not for everyone. It's a great place to learn, man. It is. But it's not for everyone.